Sometimes at summer camps, they make crafts or they make projects and they're like, okay, I'm done with this. I really don't want to keep it. But now when I say, okay, one of these projects is going to be in the art show, it drives them to make them even better than we could ever have dreamed. My name is Alexis Carabinas, but the kids call me Miss Glitter. Um, I don't look like I have glitter on, but glitter makes me happy in the art department. Um, I am the art counselor for the summer camp here. Yes. So the art show will happen towards the end of summer, and w there should be one to maybe two projects a week that I will keep. We're going to have the children's family, friends, and themselves come and see their artwork on display. I was chosen to do this because I performed my own art show in May at my college at Fort Hay State University, so they thought I was a perfect fit to make this happen. Um, so we're gonna have a lot of projects ready for the showing, and I believe that we're selling these pieces as well to be raising money for an organization that we are a part of. There's a really big issue within school districts who cut out art programs. You can see statistically that every other subject falls when art is removed from a classroom. And with camp, I see all of the kids. There, I think we have 120 maybe, that's a lot of numbers, and we have a waiting list of kids waiting to get in. That's how anticipated for the counselors, for the programs. And to the kids who have difficulty with math or science or history, anything involving that, art can be that safe place where they can learn all of those things. This is our trial run because we wanna see what this project does to our kids, and it's week three and I've already seen so much passion in these kids where, you know, summer camp, they don't really want to learn, you know, straight, boring math like Ferris Bueller's Day Off where they have a monotone voice and they don't want to be there. The counselors want to be here and us wanting to be here makes the kids want to be here. So donating to this program installs in your faith in us that we are making a change in our community and every day Salina needs support like that. And I hope the Y can expand what we're already doing, but within our community of the YMCA.